you're going on a cruise and planning on relaxing and having fun by the pool, something that you should know is there are actually some rules, some etiquette, some guidelines as to some things that you do not want to do on the Lido deck. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifeballcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now I love, especially on a sea day, to sit on the cruise ship pool deck, maybe with a drink in one hand and a book in the other, just relaxing and enjoying my day. But all of us, well, we have a little bit of a responsibility when we're on a cruise ship to kind of, well, there are some do's and some don'ts. And basically we don't wanna do things that are going to disturb other people on the cruise ship and we wanna make sure we are following those rules. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you the things that cruise passengers should never do on the cruise ship Lido deck. Now, before I get started, I wanted to mention two things. Firstly, a lot of these rules you're going to notice once you're on the cruise ship, some will be enforced, some will not be enforced at all. And in the end, I'm not the cruise ship police, so you do you. And secondly, if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. Number one, don't be a chair hog. That's right, there is a rule that you're not supposed to really reserve of deck chairs at least not for an extended amount of time now cruise ships a lot of them will actually have a rule that if you leave your chair unattended with items on it for longer than 30 minutes they will remove those items so books flip-flops uh, towels things like that so that is something to be aware of now in my experience on some cruise ships that's enforced sometimes it isn't now what I wouldn't personally worry about is if you do go into the pool for instance and you're not on your chair for a few minutes don't really worry about that that's okay if you do go to the bar and you get a drink that's okay too but something to consider is if you are going to go inside the cruise ship and you're going to go do an activity for an hour or two then yes you should really remove your items from the deck chair and allow other people the opportunity to sit there number two don't bring your own music to play at the cruise ship pool now of course you can bring your earbuds you can listen to your own music on your own headphones but what you cannot do is bring sort of a Bluetooth speaker cruise ship pool that is going to disturb other people number three super important parents cannot leave their children unsupervised of course unless the children are in the kids club but if they're around the pool deck this can actually be really dangerous for children now even on cruise ships where there is a lifeguard because that is something really good. Sometimes there's a lifeguard. This is there as a just in case, but parents still have to be supervising their children. Accidents can happen. Number four. Now I'm not picking on the parents here or the kids, but kids should not be in the adult only pools. Now this is something that I've seen on past cruises where there's an adult only pool and parents will bring their young children that they think are behaving very well, they'll still bring them into the adult only pool area. And this is something really you shouldn't do. Even if the crew doesn't say anything to you, oftentimes what happens is other guests are a little bit disturbed. And that leaves basically the responsibility for another passenger to have to go tell a crew member and then they go and tell you and maybe you feel a little bit embarrassed. So it really is better, just follow the rules. There are so many pools for kids, but there's usually only like one or maybe two adult only areas. So just don't go in there unless your kids are in the kids club. Then go in there. Number five, don't smoke in the pool area. Of course, unless you are in the smoking area. Now, oftentimes on the Lido deck, just to let you know, there is an area for smoking. So it might be on one side of the cruise ship, usually sort of near the doors. Now, also something to note for anybody that is looking for a deck chair, what I like to do is sort of scope out where is the smoking area? Now, because I don't smoke and I have no problem with other people doing it, but because I don't smoke, I don't want to actually have to smell it. So I oftentimes scope out what is the area of the pool deck that I want to sit on ideally and I'll try to find a chair over there far away from the smoking area so just a little tip number six don't hog the hot tub now I have to say I think that this is probably more like cruise ship etiquette and not an actual rule but you want to kind of have a little bit of a time limit on the amount of time that you do spend in the hot tub so of course enjoy yourself don't worry but at the same time, try not to spend maybe four or five, six hours all in one stretch in the hot tub. So a couple of reasons. Of course, you want to give other people a chance to get in the hot tub. But the other reason is, of course, you kind of do want to get out, you know, go to the bathroom, that kind of thing. So I think enough said on that one, but don't hog the hot tub. 
Number seven, no diapers or swimmers in the swimming pool. So of course the swimmers are really those diapers that are made for a swimming pool, but not a cruise ship swimming pool. So that is the rule on cruise ships. And of course this has to do really for sanitary reasons. Now, even if your child is not toilet trained, don't bring them just in a bathing suit with no diaper at all. If they do have an accident, well, basically what would happen is likely that entire cruise ship pool, well, it has to be emptied out. It has to be disinfected. It will not be in use for a few hours. People will not be happy with it. So really be careful with that one. And of course for adults, I think this goes without saying, but no going to the bathroom in the pool. Oh my gosh, I'm aging myself, but I just got an image of Caddyshack in my head. If you did too, please let me know in the comments below. Number eight, no topless sunbathing. So at least on most cruise ships, all of the cruise ships that I know of that at least leave from the United States or any of the American cruise lines, there is no topless sunbathing on a cruise. Number nine, don't move the deck chairs into the jogging track. Now this can actually be a really serious safety issue. On a lot of cruise ships, you'll have the jogging track situated or the walking track situated like directly on the deck right above the Lido deck. And that means there are a lot of deck chairs that are going to be positioned sort of on either side of the jogging track. However, what you don't wanna do is sort of just maybe because the sun has moved a little bit or you'd be more comfortable, don't move those chairs into the jogging track. Somebody can actually trip and really get hurt. Now I have one more don't that maybe might make other people a little bit uncomfortable on the cruise ship Lido deck. And then I have a couple of don'ts that are really like do's and you will thank me later for them. So the last don't is maybe don't engage in too much PDA on the cruise ship Lido deck. So cruises are romantic, yes, but you know, maybe bring that back to the cabin. Just keep in mind that you have other people around you on the cruise ship Lido deck. Okay, so here's a really important don't that really is a do. So don't not wear your flip flops to the pool or to the hot tub. Now what I mean is actually from your deck chair, you don't wanna get up and walk bare feet to the pool. And the reason that you don't wanna do that is, especially if you're on a Caribbean or hot weather cruise, that pool deck is going to be so much hotter than you imagine. By the time you get about eight steps away from your deck chair, your feet are going to feel like they are burning. So make sure that you wear your flip flops right to the hot tub or right to the pool. You will thank me later. And don't not wear sunscreen. Everybody who thinks that they have a base before going on a cruise, they regret it when they get much more sunburned than they ever imagined. So make sure that you do wear sunscreen and also wear some lip balm and even consider bringing some aloe vera with you on your cruise. You will thank me later. Now I'd love to know from you, what are the things that you have maybe seen on a cruise ship or you think that people should not do on a cruise ship Lido deck or at the cruise ship pool, please let me know down in the comments below. Now, I am gonna leave a video after this one all about the things you don't wanna do on a cruise because they're really kind of rude or bad manners. I will leave that right after this video. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.